Hello everyone, how are you doing today? You are all welcome to my channel, Apostle Paul Taiwo YouTube channel. To my recent subscribers I want to say a very big thank you, and to those that have been here all along, God bless you. And if this is your first time on this channel, I want to say a very big welcome and thank you for tuning into my video today. Kindly endeavor to click the subscription button and also the notification icon so that you can be notified whenever I dropped a new video or come up for prayers. Have you heard of our church building project? We will like to use this opportunity to ask for your financial support for the ministry. We are raising a building for the church ministry and this involve lots of fund. In case God has put it in your heart to support the ministry church building project, kindly reach out to us on our contact details which is on the video description, and you can also send directly to the account details on the screen. We will be glad and grateful to receive your financial support for the work of God. For God loves a cheerful giver, thank you. This video you are about to listen to I believe will bless your heart, and help you to come into repentance, and also strengthen your bond with God and with His Holy Spirit in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. Endeavor to like this video, share it to all your friends, contacts and loved ones, God bless you. How the Queen of the Sea enter the Church The Marine Kingdom and the Queen of the Coast Brother, in the aftermath of my wedding with the Queen of the Coast, I was put in charge of a massive kingdom underwater where I was ruling over Aquarius civilization and marine spirits. Many mermaids were under my authority for I was the king in that water city where water mermaids were under my service. The Collection of Sperms via Condoms Our task on the surface of the earth was to collect men's sperm in hotels. Wherever people throw condoms, we were there. We were continually in search of condoms in order to collect men's sperm. We were searching in the bin down beneath the pit in order to collect man's sperm. Many mermaids of the sea world sleep with men and their purpose is to wipe the men's genitalia, collect the sperm and transport the sperm underwater. Thus, after sleeping with men, these great ladies of the sea were collecting men's sperm and descending underwater. I want to inform you God's children that the condom is an invention of the queen of the sea. Condoms are fabricated on the surface of the earth by the mystical craft. Condoms are demonic and God's children must not use them. They are the property of the enemy. It is forbidden to God's people to use condoms which is an invention of the queen of the sea. The great production of condoms is for the purpose of wasting men's sperm. Condoms and women's pills were invented by the queen of the sea. In the Bible, the Lord condemned Onan for wasting his sperm. Onan knew that the offspring would not belong to him. So whenever he would sleep with his brother's wife, he would spill his seed on the ground so that he would not produce offspring for his brother. What he did was evil in the sight of the Lord, so the Lord put him to death as well. This is precisely the reason why the queen of the sea has designed condoms so that men will waste their sperm. It is forbidden by God and it is a form of masturbation. In the world that is beneath the sea, we were training pastors to come to the surface to encourage the use of condoms. Yet in the Bible, men and women of God like Abraham, Hannah, Zechariah had to pray in order to achieve pregnancy. Wherever condoms were thrown, whether in the toilet, the pit and we were descending inside to collect them. Understand the power of the condoms and all the contraceptive methods were invented by the sea siren. These items allow the marine kingdom to recoup the sperm of men in order to design and made for hair and body. When we were traveling beneath the sea with condoms, various kinds of mermaids, goddesses, and queens came to me to get these sperms in order to design products that will be sent to the surface of the earth. Abortifacient pills. Moreover, the women pills were designed in the marine world, the pills function in a way that it was only after the man's seed and the woman's seed had mixed. The pills do not act before the meeting of men's seed and women's seed to prevent pregnancy but after. This means that the pill act after the meeting of men and women's seed and the creation of the baby. In other words, the pill kills the baby just like an abortion. We must understand that these pills are designed in the underwater and they are sent to be conceived in the surface. How many children are killed by pills and contraceptive? If you are using contraceptives these babies that you have killed are waiting for you. Many married women are using the pill, even Christian women and they will be surprised by their condemnation at the gate of heaven. They will be shown the children killed through pills. Hair lotions. With men's sperm the mermaids were designing many products like pomade, 
a greasy, waxy, or a water-based substance that is used to style hair. Pomade generally gives the user's hair a shiny and slick appearance. There is a pomade with a picture of a woman giving her back. That product is satanic for there are men's sperm inside. Yet God's children are lacking discernment and they buy everything. Nevertheless, there are demons in these products that are designed with men's sperm. Whenever Christian women buy these products containing demons and bring them home, these products were flashing red light. This red light was drawing demons and Satanists to their house. I was descending in many houses through the red light that was signaling the presence of items of the devil in people's houses. I was landing in people's homes, thanks to products designed in the world of Satan. Whenever I land in your house because of items that belong to us, I would start analyzing your ambition and aspiration in order to cause blockade and opposition. When you look at the cover of these products of the sea world, there are faces of women who are mermaids. There were demons in these products and items that were allowing us to come into the house and lives of women using them. We were designing pomades such as that it became universal. This pomade is made thanks to human fat. The name of the brand is that of a water mermaid. There are also products such as Carol, Beauty Claire, Claire Light, they are demonic. I would ask you, ladies, to use products that are local for global products are dedicated to demons. These products cause spiritual gifts of God's people to be turned off. These products cause God's children to become heavy in prayer and their prayers will be powerless and deprived of authority. For when you keep the items of the enemy you won't have power over him. When you notice that your spiritual life is unstable, this is because of things that you are applying on yourself. The pomade that was made that you apply in your hair has the human blood of the innocent that is crying for vengeance, like the blood of Abel. In all the pomades that are made with human blood there is a voice crying vengeance. Soaps In Ivory Coast, we use a popular soap that is made with human blood. It is called my soap. This is the soap of the water mermaid. Whenever people use this soap the voice of the victim will be shouting vengeance for it is made with human blood. The implication is that you become complicit with the killer because you are using the blood of the innocent. In the aftermath of my wedding with the oceanic queen of the coast, she took me in a visit. We were supposed to tour her manufacturing industries and firms beneath the sea. Quickly I saw that all the industries of the marine kingdom have canals that were rising to the surface world. These canals were rising to the surface of the earth, and they were connected to many firms, plants and industries of the earth that are in covenant with the queen of the coast. Lipsticks On that day we visited all her plants and manufacturing industries. When we entered the first one of them, I saw a human heart that was pulverized. Then it was dried in fire. It was mixed with the fat of pork and women placenta in order to produce lipstick. Whenever women apply this lipstick in the spirit world, I saw that their lips became swollen and I saw that spiritual insects and mosquitoes that were demons were attracted and they were licking their lips. Whenever a Christian lady apply this lipstick when she pray with lipstick in her mouth, in the spirit, her mouth would become smelly and there will be a stench. The angel would not approach when women color their lips with a lipstick, their lips would become swollen and bigger. Whenever you pray with lipstick on your lip, there is stench. Powder When we got in another firm in the marine world, I saw a lot of human bones. In fact, we were going to mortuaries to get human bones and we were taking them beneath the water. I saw in this firm how they were designing baby powder and face powder with human bones that were ground to dust. Thanks to ignorance, people applied these powders to children because we are blind and we lack discernment. Hair lotion then we went to another plant where I saw how mermaids were mixing a lot of things in order to come up with hair lotion. I saw a Nigerian corporate leader who managed a plant in Nigeria that design and plan for hair. There was a canal going from the marine kingdom rising to the surface of the earth to this company in Nigeria. All the people working there in that company were witches. Many women claim they wanted to make their skin light, yet the skin they have come from God. They want to correct God. Even God's children are bleaching. As a result, they come to church but they have backslid in the spirit because there are demons inside these products that they are using. Their spiritual life is paralyzed. Artificial hair, wigs. One day in the marine kingdom, I went inside a canal that was rising to the surface world leading to firms and manufacturing industries of the earth. 
I entered one of the canals that went from the world beneath the sea to the surface of the earth. I traveled from the marine world to the surface of the earth through the canal and I found myself in the company of a Lebanese. When he saw me he knew that I was a master and he saluted me. I said, I am just inspecting. I saw that artificial hair was sent from the world of mermaids to this company through this very canal that connect the world of sirens to this company of this Lebanese. Employees were cutting these wigs and artificial hair and they were placing them in the boxes. There were also companies that had a statue of mermaid having long hair, they were cutting hair from the statue, and when they cut the hair from the statue, it was continually growing instantaneously in the same place. The hair of this statue never ceases to grow out again. I saw another company where the board was doing prayer in front of their product. As a result, a python was appearing and the python was vomiting artificial hair and wigs to be sold worldwide. The snake was also vomiting hair of different colors. The demons in this colorful hair were more powerful. There were also companies that were designing hair thanks to rubber. When hair was designed from rubber, I saw a car coming inside this firm. It was packed with Satanists. When they got in the firm I saw that they were doing prayer before this hair in order to consecrate them. When they were praying this hair was replaced by hair from the marine world. The original hair made from rubber was going down to the marine kingdom for they were replaced by hair of the water world. Brother, all the photos of a woman on the cover of hair labels are mermaids of water like Lena. When you look at the photo of Lena you will see that her head is lifted up to space. This is because this mermaid in the name of Lena is an intercessor. In the marine kingdom, there are groups of mermaids that do prayer of incantation from 6 a.m. in the morning to 6 p.m. in the night, they pray to the queen of heaven, the goddess so that women would wear their artificial hair and makeup. In spite of the fact that men of God are preaching against these products, these mermaids pray that women on the earth would be stubborn. They pray so that women would not listen to the warning of men of God so that they will continue to be attached to outward adornment. And because of the prayer of mermaids that are intercessors to the Queen of Heaven, women are still attached to these products. These ladies of war pray without ceasing so that women would continue to use makeup and wear wigs despite the preaching and denunciation of men of God. As a result, women of the earth have no strength to abandon makeup and outward adornment. Yet it is not possible to purify the property of the enemy. In the world beneath the sea, we were training pastors and we were sending them to the surface to join churches and build churches. I remember when the assemblies of God came to Ivory Coast they were not allowing women to wear wigs and makeup. It is when we send marine kingdom pastors on the earth to teach that it is okay for women to wear and use makeup that things changed. These pastors sent by the marine world managed to convince the evangelical world that it is okay for Christian women to wear wigs, makeup and jewelry. These satanic pastors have corrupted good pastors to accept these wigs, jewelry, and makeup. These pastors have no time to ask God about what is in the wigs. Whenever there was intense prayer in the church I was entering in many churches thanks to artificial hair and wigs of women. Women were feeling like something was moving in their heads. After prayer, I would either remain with the lady and go with her to her home or leave her head in the street and return to my body. Women wigs gave us power and legality. Demons and Satanists are able to enter the church through makeup products, the artificial hair and wigs. I saw the firm in the marine world where mermaids were coming to donate fashion clothes that they have used and where it was a place where ladies of the water world came to drop clothes that they have been wearing that they no longer needed. Brothers and sisters, we were waging spiritual war against pastors that oppose makeup and wigs. This is the combat of the end time. The marine world would fight any pastors that preached against makeup and wig. Makeup and wigs enable us to attack the churches and to enter evangelical churches that were putting pressure on the world of Satan. And in churches where women have given up makeup, it was difficult for us to enter. Back in the past, evangelicals were against outward adornment, but the marine world took measures and resolution to infiltrate them. As a result, a new opinion emerged and they were divided. Thanks to pastors of the Marine Kingdom there are evangelicals that allow makeup and there are still evangelicals that oppose makeup and they are conservative and they stay true to the doctrine of the Bible. Jewelry Whenever the Queen of the Coast learned that a company on the earth has come up with new kinds of jewelry such as necklace, earrings, bracelets, she was issuing the order to the industrial complex of the Marine Kingdom to duplicate copies of the newly designed jewelry. 
Whenever the jewelry were designed on the earth such as new earrings, necklaces and bracelets we were ordered to duplicate them in the marine kingdom. Once the marine kingdom industry have duplicated the original model of jewelry such as the rings, necklaces, and bracelets in the marine world, we were traveling to various stores on the surface of the earth in the night in order to replace the original jewelry with the ones that were designed in the industrial complex of the marine kingdom. Yet these earrings, necklaces, and bracelets designed in the marine kingdom in the manufacturing industry of the goddess of the sea are serpents, scorpions, millipedes. These are demons. Whenever God's children buy these items and take them home, demons that are inside this jewelry would begin to gather information about their project and ambition. Since these items of the enemy are flashing red light, we were able to descend in such a house and cause destruction. Beloved, notice whenever Christian women wear artificial hair and the wig, these fake hair record whatever they are thinking in their head, and whatever is in their mind and memory is recorded in these wigs. Whatever they say in their house is recorded. The demon in the wig transmits the information he had gathered from the mind of women through the wig to the marine kingdom. I remember I was leading a war against a lady that was opposed to makeup and wig. I sent her a carnal lady that was attached to outward adornment and makeup. This carnal lady was telling her Christian friend, since we are God's children, we must adorn ourselves and be beautiful. We cannot be like that. But my target the spiritual lady was opposed to outward adornment until one day her carnal friend invited her to a party. On that day her friend insisted and pressured her to wear a necklace and ring that she gave her. As she continued to refuse, her carnal friend said, just wear it today for the party. You will remove it when the party is finished. In truth, the necklace that this Christian lady accepted to wear for the party was a snake. For the company were designing jewelry and chains on the earth, we were designing the same model which was snakes, millipedes, scorpions, and we were coming in the night in order to replace the original by the one designed in a marine kingdom which was a snake. That lady received a necklace that was a snake. When she wore these jewelry that were demons, these unclean spirits were spitting on her. The snake was destroying her Christian life. It was destroying her prayer life, her meditation, and attachment to the Lord. One day, she prayed for the chain and right before her it turned to a snake and disappear. However, the prayer life of this woman was already destroyed and there was a celebration in the world of Satan for her prayer life was dead. The aim of the devil is to keep women attached to makeup and jewelry till death in order to take their souls to hell. In order to keep women attached to these adornments, the queen of the coast have mermaids that are intercessors. They pray without ceasing to the queen of heaven. Eyelashes. Brother, in the world under the sea, the queen of the coast was designing the artificial eyelash thanks to hair of sea dragon in order to destroy the gift of vision, revelation, and discernment of God's daughters who buy them. Whenever God's children use eyelashes, the gift of vision will be deactivated, they neutralize their spiritual view. The queen of the sea was also designing artificial hair. Thanks to artificial hair, the sea dragon was recording what was in the mind of God women. Artificial nail. The artificial nail was also designed by the sea goddess thanks to the nails of the sea dragon. The artificial nails can affect the gift of divine healing. Artificial nail makes it tough to hold the Bible for long when a woman on these nails, the spirit of the dragon will enter in her. The sea dragon will feed on her energy. This inner energy is called ether. It is the internal energy of man's spirit. Energy from shouting. Whenever a goal is scored in a game when people shout with all their strength demons to come to collect the energy released. Often footballers sign covenant with demons. When they score a goal, people would scream. Demons will then collect the energy as a reward for these demons are the ones that sustain the footballer and the dragon is fed with these energies. Whenever a football game is playing, there are always demons assembled to collect energy and when a believer is watching a football he is under surveillance in order to check whether he is going to release the emotion of anger or pride. And we often shot believers with arrows in these moments of emotion and energy. Waist beads. I want to inform you that waist beads that African women wear on the hips are snakes and eggs of a snake. The one worn around the waists and hips by African women are snakes. I would like to ask ladies to pray and ask God to show them what is in these wigs and waist beads that you wear. The issue is that ladies have no time to pray for these things. 
You can take three days of fasting in order to know about these wigs and waist beads. Nail Polish In mortuaries, I was collecting parts of corpses. I mean, I was making the corpses sit on the belly and I was collecting their spit and they were taken underwater for the design of nail polish. Women of God never took time to ask the Lord about what is in these products that they applied. They fail to ask God about what is inside these products like lipstick, pomade, and lotions. They don't have time for that. Yet these products destroy the spiritual and defensive weapons and paralyze their prayer life. These nails polish and neutralize the sandals of the gospel of the believer. You no longer have authority in your feet to dominate demons and I was working with sea mermaids to design products. Since you don't have time to pray this product, they will neutralize your spiritual life and paralyze your ability to pray and to cast out devils for these are the properties of the devil because they are demons in these products and accessories. High Heels High heels allow us to remove the sandal of the gospel on the feet of the Christian lady. Perfume Whenever God's children use perfume, the fragrance perforates their souls with injury. Spiritual mosquitoes will come to suck these injuries so that they will not heal for them to reach the level of worms. They cause infection in the soul. All these things are adornments and false prophets will oppose true teaching and will try to convince God's children that it is okay to adorn oneself. Grace be with you all that have Jesus Christ as Lord and personal Savior. Amen. Bye for now. Hello everyone thank you for watching our video for today, I trust it blesses your heart. Endeavor to like this video and share it to your loved ones, I pray the grace of the living God will continue to rest upon you and upon everything that pertains to you in the name of Jesus, Amen. If you have any question or comments kindly drop them in the comment section, God bless you. See you in our next video and have a lovely day, bye for now.